Yo, what it do? It's the King Three Stacks to the Max Grind Time Supernova Shine. Get your bank up, get your rank up. So, I mean, the whole purpose of the six inch retro. Well, the selling point, of, a big selling point of it was the card. So, having a carded figure that you might potentially display on your wall. Now, some people might get it because they missed out on the barrenness or whatever. Lady J is supposed to be a better face. Destro is a little bit more tune accurate. And Gung Ho is in the right color. But besides that, big selling point is the card. Now, I don't know if the 6-inch retro card is like flimsy booty paper, flaccid as hell. But I'm willing to bet it is. We have had a video, but... They seem to left out if it's flimsy. Um, is it to the Marvel Legend retro standard or what? All I got to say is. One of my Instagram people got a retro Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. So he posted it. The first thing I wanted to know immediately is the card flimsy. He said, yes, it was flimsy. So it was flashy. It was flimsy booty paper garbage. So how are you going to charge $40 for some 3.75 O-ring figures and the card feels like flimsy booty paper? But anyway, bring it to Super 7. Super 7 card is all right. It's pretty good, you know. And it even looks better on the back. Now we take you to Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man Fantastic Four. Man, those cards are like they on Viagra mixed with C. Alice. I find it kind of odd that G.I. Joe is your brand, but you use the flimsiest cardboard that you can find for it i mean don't try to peg these on the wall without a protective shell case or shit is gonna slide right off your wall the sheer weight of the figure is gonna make it fall like i said in my other video so this is sad a lot of people complain that the bubble is too big on the baroness which i agree they could have tucked the rifle and put it behind her to make that bubble a little bit smaller see that's your damn problem you don't spend most of the uh card money on the damn plastic bubble but y'all supposed to be getting away from trying to use plastic but this is a shit load of hunk of forehead plastic that you got on this cardboard you know then the cardboard is flimsy as hell. So, I mean, come on. If y'all gonna be doing this classified retro thing, y'all can at least make the cards. They're not even half as strong as the retro for the Marvel series, you know. I mean, shit, you can damn near knock somebody out with them damn cards right there. They so goddamn hard. But... We're not getting the same with the G.I. Joe, which is their brand, which is they are cheaping out or, you know, maybe they fucking Walmart on the retro card backs and maybe Disney ain't playing that shit with they Marvel. I don't know. But anyway, Hasbro, y'all gonna need to tighten up with this flimsy, flaccid, booty paper card. Get us some hard cards like the damn Marvel Legend Retro Series. So, if y'all can't do that, I mean, maybe we can depend on somebody to make a bubble to hold the shit in, but, you know, just hanging it as it is, 
the car is asking to be all on the floor. You're going to have about 15 hanging on the wall. You're going to come home and all your shit going to be on the floor. Or at least put a plastic tab around the part that you got to hang up on the pig. But still though, y'all can make that car much harder than what it is because that is a big selling point for carded figures. And when you put some old flimsy shit out like that, it's just like, yeah, you know. Hasbro, tighten up. You guys let me know how y'all feel about this flimsy ass card. Are you cool with it? You think they could do better? You think they do a much better job at Disney than their own brand? It's the King 3 Stacks. Y'all leave a like and a comment.